The first big surprise I encountered in, in creating Free to Choose occurred the very first night I met Milton Friedman. I had purchased a copy of Capitalism Freedom. I had read it cover to cover, and I still have, have it. Milton autographed it for me. It has tabs on every page where I had highlighted something, and that means there's almost tabs on every page. <laughs> it looks like a kind of a, a book porcupine. On the side of the book, there's a tab sticking out on the side. So all the tabs are in the normal ones on the side here. And that first night, I turned to that tab because as we were talking I, about the project, I got into the question of the reality of how much it was going to cost and we were going to have to raise money. And on that page that I had marked was where Milton talks about the fact that he thought corporations should not give money to charitable organizations. Because the only way they could give money to charitable organizations would be to take it from profits. And profits should go to shareholders. Well, so I looked at him and I, re I read the quote, his quote in there. I said, well, Milton, I said, I need to ask you this if we're gonna go ahead. I said, where am I gonna raise the money? If I can't go, if you're saying corporations shouldn't give away money uh, because it's shareholder money, then I, I'm kind of stuck because, you know, I'm going to ask businesses to give, give money for this, etc. And his answer was, Bob, don't worry about it because those corporations wouldn't give you money for this project anyway because they don't agree with me. They don't like my ideas. And that was an eye-opener and a surprise for me. And what he was saying was that he was not a friend of business. And... And this is the kind of thing that so irritates me today because people want to make Milton out as some advocate for big business and for corporate America. Absolutely the reverse. He was for free market capitalism. And corporations are very, very interested in developing crony capitalism. 